I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminated News Hour, right here at Illuminated Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. And uh, this is a special request video. I want to thank you, Brother Kevin, for sending me the donation for this video. If, if you all have any... Um, understanding that you need to be edified on and you want me to do a video on it just um or if you have a celebrity you want me to expose or a social media personality you want me to expose and do a video on very easy small donation of five dollars the donation link is in the description box below all right brother kevin said um he wants me to expound on white history well um we can start in um Genesis chapter 28 and 8. Actually, don't start in Genesis chapter 28. Yeah, Genesis, Ch Genesis chapter 28 and 8 explains to us that Esau, the white people, all come from the lines of Esau. Um, the Jewish people come from the lines of Esau. The Jewish people that you see today... They are Amalek. They come from Esau. The Europeans come from Esau. You know what I'm saying? It, the Caucasian race all come from Esau. And I'm pretty sure you know about um, the birthright. And how Rebecca had Jacob and Esau. And how Jacob and Esau was fighting in the womb. You know what I'm saying? You know what they was fighting over? They was fighting over rulership. They was fighting over kingship. That's what they was fighting over. You know what I'm saying? Jacob was already ordained in the womb to receive the promise and to receive the kingship. And that's why they was fighting in the womb. We was fighting in the womb for so when you hear about people talking about, oh, it's um it's a race war. You know what I'm saying? If you hear people talking about it's a race war or they want to ignite a race war, whoever is speaking that is lacking knowledge because it's been a race war ever since we was in the womb. Ever since Jacob and Esau was, you know what I'm saying, was duking it out. Even when it was, even when it came out, Jacob came out holding Esau's heel. And if you read the book of 2 Ezra, um, the scripture says that Esau is the end of one age and Jacob is the beginning of the age that follows. You know what I'm saying? Jacob received the rulership. That's why Jacob was obtained the birthright. Esau sold his birthright for some red meat, some, some red food. That's why Esau eats his food medium red today. You know what I'm saying? But... Being that Esau have sold his birthright, he wanted, he realized what he had done. And he realizes he cannot get it back. So in the book of Genesis, it says that Esau have promised. He said, he said, when the days of mourning for my father is complete, I'm going to kill my brother Jacob. Now this is all the way back in Genesis. So this is when the race war started. So for all you people today time talking about, oh, it's a race war. They trying to start a race war. They done already started that. It already started. And in order for Esau to get back at Jacob, you have to have a power source on your side. Because Jacob had the power source of the Most High. So what did Esau do? Esau went to the only power source that was available in the earth. And if you read the book of Genesis chapter 28, 8. Genesis chapter 28, 8. If you read that, it says that Esau went and married the daughters of Canaan. Who is the daughters of Canaan? That's the do that's the African. The white man went and had sex with African women and had and produced children 
from the African women. The white man had went and had sex and married the African women. Why did Esau went and marry the African women? Well, let me explain to you. The African women are, the African women and the African men are the epitome of Satan. That is, they are the ones that conjured up Satan. They are the ones that do the voodoo rituals. If you know what voodoo is, voodoo is mixing potions together to conjure up Satan. To conjure up satanic spirits. The same thing when Nicki Minaj said, when she came out, she said, I don't know, his name is Roman. Somebody conjured him up, and now he won't leave. Conjured what up? You conjuring up spirits. The only uh, nation of people that deal with that is the Africans. And that's why Esau went and married the daughter of the Canaanites. Because he wanted to obtain power so that he can have a fighting chance against his brother Jacob. To this day, he is still messing with the Africans and he is still doing the African rituals to obtain power over Jacob. Don't believe me? The who created America? Because America was just a forest land before we before we came over here, right? When the natives was over here, the America was a forest land. Esau came over here and used us to build up America and build up America with their Canaanite God symbols because Nimrod is an African. Nimrod is an Ethiopian. And what do we worship in America? Nimrod. So you worship that dollar bill. Look on the back of that dollar bill. It's a pyramid. That pyramid represents the Pyramid of Giza. You know what I'm saying? The Eye of Horus. It is an Egyptian pyramid. It's an African pyramid on the back of American currency. Everything in America is a representation of what's in Africa. Why? Because Esau have made an oath with the Canaanite gods, Lucifer, to if they will, you know what I'm saying, bring them souls, continue to bring them souls, they will continue to have power over their brother Jacob. Now, I can only do so much on these little 10-minute videos, but I hope this explained it to you who is the white race. The white race is Esau. Esau, to this day, is still fighting against his brother Jacob. It's, it's always been black against white. It didn't just start, you know what I'm saying, in slavery. It's been black against white all the way in the womb. Why? Because when Rebecca had Jacob, Jacob came out black. Esau, the one that came out hairy and red. So therefore, they're not white, they're red. That's why when you hear about the Rothschilds, it means red child. Roths means red. Red child. Rothschilds. That's Amalek. Amalek even know who he is. But we don't. You see? So, you know what I'm saying? So when you hear people talking about, a, oh, they trying to start a race war, tell them it already started. It started from us coming out of the womb of Rebecca. Okay. I hope that um, answers your question, Brother Kevin. You know what I'm saying? Who is the white race is. You know what I'm saying? In order for, and in order for us to have power over our brother Esau is the best way to do that is to start keeping these law statute commandments and doing what's doing according to the law of the most high that's the only way we're going to have power over our brother Esau um, until then you know what I'm saying if we continue to live the Babylonian way we will continue to never have power over our brother Esau hope that answers your question Brother Kevin, I want to thank you all. Thank you for that donation, Brother Kevin. If you all have any information, anything that you want me to enlighten you on, any um, spiritual wisdom, 
you want me to enlighten you on, or if you have celebrity you want me to expose, or a social media personality you want me to look into and expose, there's a small donation of $5. The donation link in the description box below. I want to thank you all for tuning in logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.